Hey guys, it's short that we're, um, we are playing some Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Now, as you've seen from the thumbnail of the video, we're going to be using a Blackwing deck. Now, if this is the first time you've watched my video, I have I make a bunch of free-to-play decks. So these decks uh, aren't, you know, pay to win. So basically, I don't use my money to pay for these cards. I've, all I've done is just use gems. So you won't see duplicates of an ultra-rare card unless I have a, a ticket or something like that. So uh, let's just get with it. Let's go straight into our uh, PUB. <laughs> I, I misclicked there. <laughs> so I was saying before, if this is your first time of watching my videos, so what we do is we do a couple matches of ranked PUB with our deck. And then at the end of the video, I go through like the core of it. So I go and show you all the cards that I have for the deck and the strategies between each card, I guess. Because, you know, a deck, a good deck is um, just being able to link all your cards together, right? It's top duel. My turn. So this is quite a good start in hand. Um, I could actually finish this duel in one turn, depending on what he throws out. So uh, we're just going to have to wait until he does his turn. Now, remember, I do stream on Twitch every now and then. So uh, give a follow there. The link is in the description below. As well as my Twitter. I do tweet out when I go live. So... Check me out there. All right, he's finally starting his move. Uh, we are in the low ranks, but uh, do rest, do, I, I don't know how to say this. <laughs> uh, just do know that these deck, well, this deck at least, will get you to a high rank. So, uh, you know, just be wary of that. Okay, let's start this battle. Uh, let's activate the Black Whirlwing first, so we can get our Black Wing monsters. So yeah, this deck is all about the Black Wings. Uh, the thing about the Black Wing monsters is that is that they're all at least able to be special with summon. So that's the main thing about the deck, just being able to special summon your monsters. That's just one of the main, like the greatest perks of the deck. Um, let's just do a little combo here. So what I normally do is get Black Whirlwind to be activated. So. Whenever you summon a monster, you can get another monster from your deck. That's a black wing. And it has to be a level, not a level, an attack lower than the monster that you summon. So as you saw, I've got this. So let's just do a little combo here. We could actually win this in one turn, so. Depending, I don't know, it depends. Let's just see how, how this works. So we're just gonna use his effect to get his level increased. So we can summon our Tuna Monsters. Our Tuna Monsters or Synchro Monsters? Sorry, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Alright, let's get our Synchro Monster out. We are gonna get this guy. And this guy's effect is pretty good. I will show you right now. Because, god, this deck is... It's tier 1 on the meta list. Uh, as far as, as I've seen, so... <laughs> So we're gonna get Rakuri's effect to activate to destroy his monster. We're gonna special summon this. And then we're gonna special summon our other synchro monster. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Why is he losing connection? What? <laughs> so he's pretty much lost the spell. I think he's disconnecting. So, look, right there. Yeah, there you go. Look. I think he disconnected. Okay, he connection failed. <laughs> Clearly, this deck is freaking OP, man. Look, I already summoned two monsters, both boasting like above the above two thousand five hundred attack, and he's got no monsters on the field. The only way he could stop this act, this situation is to either have a sphere Karibo or or Catroid in his hand. See, as you can see, this deck pretty good, isn't it? I'm not now. I'm not saying that this deck will get you to I guess king of games but it will get you high ranks all right let's see let's see if we can go for another one so that was a really lucky hand we got our uh, was it the black whirlwind card we got an easy level four monster it was all set up it was all laid out just that that hand was nice but uh yeah there's some times where i do get a really crappy hand so uh <laughs> just you know bear, bear with it Ooh, he's actually Okay, this might be a good player, but he's got a deck size of 30, which not that great to have. <laughs> so these cards are pretty good. Not too bad. We do have our Black Whirlwinds 
summoning guy. <laughs> that's that's what I like to call him. <laughs> because when you activate his effect, you can get your black whirlwind out. Uh, the only bad thing about this deck, I'd say, is <laughs> since I don't have duplicates in my deck, uh, I do run into some horrible situations where I do get like the wrong cards, man. Like, like if I got that black whirlwind card and this card in my hand, which I'm about to summon, you can't activate his effect, which is kind of bad. <laughs> Uh, so let's get. Oh, I don't know which one to really get. Oh, actually, no. What I normally do is I get him out. Yeah, I get him out. So the thing about this like combo here, the fact that you can normal summon twice on one turn is is kind of ridiculous. <laughs> and the combo of uh, the black whirlwind effect activating every time you normal summon is a bit crazy as well. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna get him out to special summon. I'm gonna go with Raikui again, just in case that face down card is bad. You never know. Actually, what we're gonna do, we're not gonna flip him. So, what I just did is I used my Tuna Monster, which has an effect of when you synchro summon a monster, you can flip or change the battle position of a card that's face down but we're gonna straight up destroy it because I don't trust it and then we're gonna summon him to get his level up to level 5 so I can summon a level 8 synchro summon monster here we go and we've won the match we've won the match I think as long as he doesn't have something that can counter it yep he's gonna quit He's gonna quit. There's no way he's, he's gonna quit. Okay, he's, he's okay. A respectful duelist. Let's see. Will he, will he actually surrender in the last minute? No, okay, he's good. See, this deck is a bit hectic. <laughs> the fact that I won in what? How many turns was that? Three? Maybe even one turn? Almost one turn. The fact I can win almost one turn, and this isn't even like a pay to win deck this is all free to play i've not used any money at all to get these cards all i've used is gems so the fact that <laughs> i've done this was pretty amazing and now i know this is rookie rank but look i'm easy climbing the ranks and I, I could possibly get to maybe silver rank with this deck but uh yeah i know how like this is deck is in like tier one so <laughs> Not, I'm not complaining. <laughs> so I guess, uh, I, saw, I guess you've seen the potential of the deck within those two duels. Let's go for another one just in case. Oh god, we're facing off a Japanese player. I'm not gonna like this. I feel like out of like all the players in Yu-Gi-Oh, I feel like either Japanese or American players, they obviously pay to win for the deck. So, you know, <laughs> whenever I face those two people, either countries, uh. Yeah, I get a bit nervous <laughs> because who knows, who knows what money power they have. <laughs> now this hand is kind of decent, not too bad, but it could be a bit better. He, oh, he's got Dark Lord deck. Oh, the Dark Lord deck could be annoying. I don't know how to counter them. I think he banished them from the graveyards or at least banished them. <laughs> but against a Black Wing deck, I don't think I have a chance. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh. We got a good hand here, but uh, let's see. Let's see how we can do this. So I'm gonna summon him. His card could activate. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're in the safe zone for a while, but let's see. Let's see. Oh, he's, he's got something. What could it be? It's got to be a Dark Lord card or something. Okay, we're, we're kind of safe. Uh, let's get this card. I mean, uh, we don't have any choice. We have to get that card out. <laughs> we have to... Uh, I don't know about this. Let me special summon this. I know... <sighs> he might have... He might have something that counts all my effects. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about the Dark Lord deck that much. All I know is that the best way to get rid of them is to banish their cards, I think. Because their effects always... Yeah, they always affect the graveyard, I think. So, I'm not too sure about this deck. Let's go, Blackwing! Borrow the spear! 
Hmm. What can I do? I need to destroy that card. That card is really... <laughs> really scaring me. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna... We're gonna get Raikui back out. And destroy that face down card. Yeah. Alright, Raikui is on the field. We're gonna activate his effect if he lets me. <laughs> Come on, you Japanese player. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to destroy it. I don't care what it is. I'm destroying it. This might be a bad move. I might... I don't know. Maybe I should have... What is this? Oh, it's just special summoning... Okay. Okay. Uh, we're gonna set this card down. Yeah, that was a bad idea, actually. I should have... I should have just destroyed the monster. I would have won this match if I destroyed the monster. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> destroyed the monster and attack his life boys directly. Because, look, we already have two monsters that have an attack. Just... Wait, if you combine them, it's higher than 4,000, so I could have destroyed it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's take a second here. What is this card's effect? Okay, I think we might have this in the bag. Let me just see. So if I summon this, I can get my other Black Wing monster. Which I want is... Let me just see. So that's six. I'm just counting the levels here. So I can get my uh, cards back. Here, here we go. This should do it. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. So let us summon this card so we can get our Raikui back. And then we'll have like a stronger force of attack, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna change his card to defense mode just in case. Because I, I don't know. <laughs> just in case something might happen, you never know. So we get a Rekri back, we're gonna activate his effect to destroy that card. Okay, now we can attack his life points. Unless he has a Sphere Creep or something. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dark Lord decks, they're kinda scary. <laughs> as long as you get like, your spell, your spell cards in there and uh, your Dark Lord cards into the graveyard. Okay, that was a bit, <laughs> that was a bit tense, but we got it, we got it. So this is my Blackwing deck. I've not used any money at all. All I've done is use gems, okay? So, let us go through each card, one by one, just so you know, you know, what, like, card combos I have for each card, at least. So, we have Black Wings, Simon, the Poison Wind. This card's effect is that you need to have, like, another Black Wing monster in your hand for it to activate. So, what it does is it banishes another Black Wing monster that you have in your hand. You get to choose. And by doing so, you get to activate the Black Whirlwind spell card. Now, the Black Whirlwind spell card lets you get a Blackwing monster, uh, as long as you normal summon a Blackwing monster. <laughs> so once you normal summon a Blackwing monster, you can get another Blackwing monster from your deck to your hand uh, with an attack less than the monster that you summoned. So as you've seen, uh, what I did in the jewels is I've used this effect to get a, maybe a Synchro, uh, not Synchro, a Tuna Monster, I'm sorry, a Tuna Monster, and that will let me Synchro summon a, another monster. So uh, that is that is probably the most useful card in, in the whole deck. Without that card, uh, the deck wouldn't be that great, but uh, yeah, that that is a, a really, really strong card to have in the deck. Next, we have Blackwing, Elfin, the Raven. Um, just a nice high level 6 monster with the ability of changing an opponent's uh, monster monster's battle position. So uh, that's really good. And the fact that it's a level 6 monster and what I normally do if I uh, apparently have this in my hand, along with a Simon, I would summon the two of them. Because as, as I said before, with the Blackwing uh, Simon's effect, of normal summon a monster, you can summon, you can normal summon again, so you can normal summon twice in one turn. So with Black Wind and Fender Raven, that is a pretty good move. Next we have Boar the Spear, a nice level four monster with another ability to special summon, as long as there's another Black Wing monster on the field. Uh, this does 
have another ability of inflicting pierce damage to your opponent so that's a nice little uh nice thing to have when you change an opponent's uh battle position with all the other black wing monster cards that have that ability as well next we have gale the whirlwind this card's ability is to half the attack of a, an opponent's monster attack and defense by the way and the fact that it's a level 3 monster, this pairs well with uh, the level 4 monsters of Blackwing. Next we have Shura the, the Blue Flame. Uh, now this is the only, I guess, Blackwing monster, well not only, but uh, this is the Blackwing monster that doesn't have the ability to have uh, a special summon. So just be wary of that, you can't special summon this monster other than you know just your other special ways but anyways this card's effect is once it destroys the monster an opponent's monster by battle you can special summon a black wing monster with 1500 less attack which is useful for i guess getting a tuna monster which uh something like this that i normally go with which i'll explain in a sec uh, when i get to that card next we have suko the dawn this card is a bit eh <laughs> um it's not really it's kind of there just for experimentation but once again, it's kind of a good card. So this card will let you uh, normal summon it if the opponent's if there's an opponent's monster on the field and you have no monsters. So this is great because it's attacks 2000. It does have the nice ability of um, selecting one of your black wing monsters to get a combined attack of all your others, but uh, it, it won't allow your other monsters to attack. Kind of bad, but if you really want to go in for the kill then it's kind of a good card next we have chris the crack of dawn we've got two of them in the deck because they both can be special summoned as long as there's a like black wing mouse on the field now it does have the effect of it not being destroyed by spell and traps which is good but other than that i normally use this card for i guess synchro summoning uh, monsters because of its special summon ability which is really good black wing steam the cloak now this card is extremely good this is a really good card despite despite it being uh, labeled rare uh, this card is really really good now the effect of it is that once it leaves the field it special summons a token and then if it's in your graveyard this card you can sacrifice a monster to special summon it from the grave now this this seems a bit kind of boring <laughs> but just have this situation in mind let's just say you have two level four monsters because you know the special summoning ability of our black wing monsters if you have your two level fours on the field and then you have this steam cloak just synchro summon one of your level seven monsters and then you leave a token behind and then you sacrifice that token to bring back steam the cloak and then you can synchro summon again so uh, you already have two synchro summon monsters on the field and that's just amazing next we have gust the back blast um kind of useful in some situations so i just use it when i have no cards on the field to special summon it and then that will allow me to special summon other monsters that require a black wing monster to be on the field next harmaton the dust this is a, kind of a tricky one but once you like understand how it works and all then it's not that hard to uh uh, figure out so basically when you special summon it or normal summon it you can increase this level uh by another monster's level on the field so let's just say you have a level four monster when you special summon this card you can basically make this card's level to level six because you're taking the level four's monster's level and increasing it to you know level six this is actually only useful for synchro summoning uh, other than that its attack is pretty crap and its defense is really crap so uh yeah just keep in mind that this card is mostly used for synchro summoning next we have urushi the squall as effect is when you synchro summon you can change any monsters on the field their battle position so this is really good for monsters with high attack and then the defense is really low and then you can just you know swap their battle position and then instantly kill them next as i said the black whirlwind card you've seen it in action lets you summon well lets you get a monster from the deck to your hand very useful galaxy cyclone is just there to destroy some spells um that could be replaced by anything else so feel free to choose whatever you want another card in there that's uh, could be replaced against the wind well it's not that great of a card but 
it can help sometimes. So you can get a black wing monster from your graveyard to your hand, but you do take damage equal to their attacks, so be careful when you use it. Another throwing card that can be can be useful, I'm not too sure. This me experimenting with this card. So when you have your tuner and your non-tuner monsters in the graveyard, which happens kind of a lot when you're synchro summoning and maybe your opponent destroys all your monsters, you can stop and direct attack by activating this trap and then you can summon your synchro monster. So once again, you know, you get your single monster on the field before they could even do anything. And then we want widespread rune is just to stop attacks. You never know. And another card stopping attacks. Blackbird close. Oh, this card is really good. Now, I could have two, I just don't have it <laughs> because I gotta pay for more gems. But anyways, this card lets you special summon a black wing monster by countering an opponent's of uh, monster's effect. But you gotta have a, a black wing monster on the field, so uh, <laughs> just make sure that you have a black wing monster on the field while you have this card face down. If you know that, that uh, the opponent's gonna activate a monster effect, which they would, you know, a lot of uh, high tier decks have monsters with monster effects so I wouldn't be surprised if <laughs> you activate this card a lot because it will happen <laughs> just bear with it and obviously the great thing about this card is that you can negate the monster's effect and destroy the monster so it's a win-win and then finally we have war disruption <laughs> just to stop some high attackers next let's go on with the synchro summonings all right so we have vermilion dragon mech which is in majority of synchro summoning decks uh, this is a level 9 synchro summon monster so I barely get the chance to get him out on the field but uh, let's see the combos I would go for to synchro summon him would be your level 6 monster here and your level 3 monster Gale the Whirlwind now the, you can use this steam the cloak but the only way for you to activate that is to use sure the blue flames effect because um, once you destroy a monster and you synchro summon a black wing monster their effect is negated so the effect of Steam Cloak is that you can only use Steam Cloak to synchro summon black wing monsters. But if you use Shura's the Blue Flame, it will negate that effect and basically make that just a tuner monster for you to use, which is great. Otherwise, the only way to summon this Dragon Mech is to uh, synchro summon one of these level 7s and then use our level 2s here, which is uh, the Gust the Beck. Blast, or we have a Harmit in the Dust if you don't activate its effect. Next, we have the Black Wing Monster. I'm surprised it's not part of the Black Wing Monsters. Weird. So I would only summon Black Wing Dragon when I activate the Blackbird Close because otherwise there's no point of this trap card. <laughs> Fort Ruler Arch Fiend. Now, as you've seen, I've summoned him. Uh, pretty good. It lets you recover life points, especially when you got to use that spell card against the win. Uh, you can only recover life points when you destroy an opponent's monster. You gain life points uh, equal to the attack, the original attack, not like some boosted up attack. So just remember that, the original attack. Now it also has the effect of if this, if a psychic monster gets uh, targeted by a spell or trap, you can negate it by paying 1000 life points and you get to destroy the card. But uh, seeing that this is the only psychic monster, it would only work on this card. So. Just know that it won't activate every time. If if your black wing monster is gonna get targeted for destruction, then uh, it's gonna die. Even with the arch fiend on the field, it, yeah. Just say bye to it. Next, we have assault black wing Chidori, the rain sprinkling. That's a long name to <laughs> had to look it up. So this card, it does say it has 2,600 attack, but once you sync with some of them, it's gonna be 3,200. Now it does have the effect of. Um, if this card is destroyed, then you can target a a winged beast type synchro monster in the graveyard. So uh, just know that you know once if this card goes down, it's gonna bring back a synchro winged beast monster. So uh, if you're facing against it, just be careful. Next we have our oh, Rakuri the Rain Shower. This, as you've seen, lets me destroy opponent's cards uh, depending on the number of black wing monsters. So. That means there's only going to be a maximum of two cards I can destroy on the field. So if I manage to summon this and you only have two cards on the field, well, you're going to be toasted. And then we have our last Obsidian Hawk Joe, Blackwing Monster. As you've seen, it lets me special summon a level five or higher beast type, wing beast type monster from the graveyard. So I can get back my 
black wings if they're destroyed so that's all we have for our black wing deck now in terms of skills like what skills to add uh well this deck is pretty beefed up already <laughs> why do you need any more skills but if uh you do need skills maybe some level reduction augmentation skills would be great i believe it's on the majority of every 5d character so uh yeah just i guess use that i don't know what other skills would be uh best paired up with it maybe yeah draw draw sense low level if you can't get your uh low level cards but other than that i think yeah the deck's pretty good and so that was the black wing deck there could be maybe a few more improvements here and there but i guess that's all i have for my deck anyways if you found the video useful give it a like and subscribe to the channel for a few more Yu-Gi-Oh decks that i'll be pulling out soon so thank you for watching and i shall see you guys later smack it uh, we got the freaking flick uh did that hit me i think that hit me <gasps> he's got boss health i'm not ready for this oh maybe i am oh okay maybe we're not oh my god i'm gonna die already <gasps> what's happening